It's time, time, time for Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Helping to get your day started right. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Monday, February 1st. 2016 and as you wake up and you start this brand new day thank god for this day and commit this day to him using it to bring glory and honor to our lord use this day to share your faith with somebody tell somebody about what jesus has done for you and while you're at it give god praise today because he is worthy of all of our praise he is worthy of all of our thanksgiving friends today we're going to start a new series and it's going to take a couple weeks to go through this series and i'm calling it Greetings and salutations. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through each day. We're going to look at a different one of Paul's books, Paul's letters. We're going to look at five of them. We're going to look at the first few verses of each each book this week, the five that we're going to look at, and see how, how Paul introduces his letter. And then next week we're going to go back to those same five books, and we're going to look at how Paul closes out each one of those letters. It's an interesting thing, and it's something I had done in the past, and it's something I thought it it would be interesting to do here as we get into the month of February here. And this morning we're going to look at Romans chapter 1, and it's going to be verses 1 through 7. Paul says, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made the seed of David according to the flesh, and declared to be the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection of the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name, among whom also are ye also called of Christ of Jesus Christ. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, Paul starts out his letter to the church at Rome by identifying himself as two things, as an apostle, which is somebody who's seen Jesus, and a servant of Jesus Christ. Do you ever stop to think that that our job is to serve him, our job is to serve Jesus? Paul was called to be a servant of Jesus. He was called to be an apostle. And then the rest of verse 1 says, separated unto the gospel of God. He was separated from his life of sin to the gospel of God. What's the gospel he's talking about there? He's talking about the good news of Jesus Christ, his death and his resurrection. And then he spends verses 2 through 7, or 2 through 5 anyway, telling us about the gospel. He says, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, that separated onto the gospel. That's what he's talking about there, that was promised by the prophets in the Holy Scriptures. Verse number 3 says, concerning his son, Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, and declared to be the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. So you see, in these verses here, Paul was showing this church at Rome that Jesus was 100% man because he he was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, and he was 100% God because he was according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. So you see, Paul was teaching this church at Rome that Jesus, who is our Savior, who is our Lord, who was promised to come by the prophets had came and he was 100% man, 100% God. And he says, by whom? Talking about Jesus now. We have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name. We have received grace and apostleship. We have received the grace of God according to Jesus. We are made heirs with Jesus because of his resurrection. Because of his defeating sin once and for all. And that can only come through Jesus Christ. And he says, among whom are ye also called of Jesus Christ? Paul's telling that church at Rome, among whom are ye also called? You are called 
of Jesus Christ. Friends, you are called by Jesus Christ. You are called by that same Savior, and your sins can be forgiven by that same Savior. Friends, the gospel, the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ is what we need to be proclaiming. What we need to be telling others and showing them that Jesus is man and Jesus is God. And that apart from him, there's nothing that we can do, nothing that we can have. You believe that today with your heart? If so, share that with somebody that needs to hear that. And never forget who you are and what you have in our Lord Jesus. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. And then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.